Hello. In this video, I'm going to start off a series of videos on the oxidation of alcohols. Uh, in this video, I'm going to present some general principles, and then in the next couple of videos, I'll talk about some specific oxidation reactions, dedicating one video to each of the more common reagents used, and then summarizing some other reagents that you might see uh, in a final video in this series. So, First, I want to, to take this moment to remind you maybe of the different uh, sort of classifications of alcohols based on the substitution uh, at the alcohol carbon, methyl, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Uh, and I have to make methyl its own uh, because it's not technically a primary alcohol as primary alcohol has one additional carbon-carbon bond at the alcohol carbon. Oops. And really here I'm just going to, to step through each, from each alcohol, what they can be oxidized into. And you will find as we go up each oxidation step the number of alcohols or the number of things that can be oxidized that that step decreases by one because each oxidation in effect removes uh, a hydrogen from the alcohol carbon uh, and a hydrogen from the, the oxygen carbon, at least in the first step. So um, actually I want to move all of these over here so I can make, make a label for my little table here. Here's my alcohol. Next, next row is called carbonyl. So if we remove a hydrogen from both the, the carbon and the oxygen and methyl group, we can move up to an aldehyde, specifically formaldehyde. The next step up for our primary alcohol is also an aldehyde. Uh, uh, this uh, ethanol or acid aldehyde. The next step up for our secondary alcohol is a ketone. And our tertiary alcohol uh, is not capable uh, of being oxidized farther. So oxidizing agents tend to ignore tertiary alcohols. There are no uh, hydrogens that can be removed at that position. Uh, as we go to the next tier, some of these uh, carbonyl compounds can be uh, oxidized further to carboxyl compounds. Um, so for example, our formaldehyde can be oxidized to formic acid. Our acetaldehyde can be oxidized to acetic acid. Since we're still, the tertiary alcohol isn't going any farther, um, under the types of oxidizing reactions that I'm going to, that I will cover in these videos, ketones tend to stop. Though there is a one oxidation of a ketone that will oxidize it to uh, an ester that will be covered in a later series of videos on the reactions of ketones themselves. So as we're coming in, as we're increasing the oxidation state going up from alcohol to carbonyl, carbonyl to carboxyl, we're dropping off, uh, starting with the most substituted tertiary alcohols don't react at all. Secondary alcohols can only be oxidized to carbonyl compounds, but primary and methyl alcohols can be oxidized to carboxyl. Uh, carboxyl compounds. So the final stage is carbon dioxide. Uh, the last oxidation uh, and it's, it removes the final two hydrogens from formic acid to form carbon dioxide can only occur in the methyl case. Uh, now yes <laughs> there are reactions that convert most organic compounds into carbon or carbon dioxide but again, those are not necessarily the type of oxidation reactions that we are going to be covering in this particular uh, video. And we're going to uh, find that 
you're going to find that there are a number of oxidizing reagents and conditions out there, uh, but one of the most common type are, are the chromium-based oxidation. Uh, here, let me let me start over. Let's talk about just some common oxidizing agents. Uh, I'll give you the three that are going to get uh, sort of their own dedicated video. Uh, one of them is the chromic acid oxidizing agent. So we're talking about uh, CrO3 plus some acid, usually sulfuric acid. And I do not like the way that came out. So uh, give me a moment. There we go. That looks better. Uh, another one is potassium permanganate. Uh, and potassium permanganate is probably a familiar compound, KMNO4. Uh, and KMNO4 uh, is usually done in the presence of, of a base like sodium hydroxide. So it can be done in acid. And then finally, uh, there is this reagent out there called pyridinium chlorochromate, uh, often abbreviated PCC, um, with the, the formula of uh, C5H. 4NH plus, Cl minus, uh, say it's plus, and then ClCrO3 minus. Uh, and I'm going to dedicate a video to this compound as well. Uh, some other oxidizing conditions uh, that are out there are going to get uh, a video just, just highlighting what they can do and what they can't do. Um, because what you're going to find amongst even these three all of them are going to oxidize from the alcohol to the carbonyl step. Some of them, but not all of them, will oxidize to the carboxyl step. And generally, anything that oxidizes things to, to the carboxyl step has a hard time, time stopping at formic acid and will overoxidize that to carbon dioxide. So the next video is going to start with chromic acid. Then we'll move on to potassium permanganate, following with pyridinium chlorochromate, and then wrapping up with some of those other oxidizing agents. Thank you for watching.